Today we use paper proclamations, as we call them, to denote a person's so-called rights. Rights, in fact, have been invented to protect ourselves from the negative byproducts of the social system itself. And once again, instead of seeking a true solution to a problem, we invent these patches by way of paper proclamations in an attempt to resolve them. This does not work. It has never worked. There is really no such thing as an unalienable right outside of the culture in which it is assumed. We are making this up. Therefore, liberties need to be inherent in the social system, by design, not alluded to ambiguously on paper. In other words, legal definitions are not empirical. All the amendments are subject to the whims of interpretation, which is why they are abused by the police, homeland security, and the IRS on a daily basis. Therefore, back to my original point, there is no such thing as rights, as the reference can be altered at will. In other words, declarations of laws and rights are actually an acknowledgement of failures of the social design. The Fourth Amendment is an attempt to protect people from state power abuse. That is clear. But it avoids the real issue. And that is, why would the state have an interest to search and seize to begin with? How do you remove the mechanisms that generate such behavior? We need to focus on the real cause. And by the way, for all the nationalists out there, I am not attacking the U.S. Constitution once again. However, it is not the answer, and it's naive to think that this document really has that much relevance. The history of America is just like the history of any other country on this planet. It is a history of deception, fraud, and corruption. There is nothing to return to, for the integrity was never there to begin with. We must move forward, not backwards.